I want to translate a simple file. I'm going to show you a simple word file. A simple word file. I'm going to translate. First, we have to create a brain to save the translation. What is the brain name? Who can give the answer? I'm going to translate this file introduce now. Okay, so now how to create a TM file new third option new translation memory. So I give that French to I'm just giving a name sample French to English TM and browse. I'm going to set the path. Okay, so and I am setting the language, for example, my source is English and my target is French. In your case, you can set any language, there will be many more settings, we need not worry. We have so many control about uh, do not translate, your date format, time format, lots and lots of control. Uh, like uh, Trados is a version. Okay, so we have created a translation memory. Okay, now see from welcome it's moved to translation memory we have created a brain but the brain is empty because we have not loaded with any translation unit uh, okay so now we are going to uh, browse a file so click browse i'm going to add this sample one file so it is asking Translate a single document or create a new project. Okay. Now let me say create a new local project or cloud project. I am saying create a local project. Okay. So source language I am setting target language. See, I am using a small sample file of 150 words. You will see how Trados is helping you like anything for this small file itself. Okay. I am giving a name, sample project, I am setting a folder, okay, I am also adding one more file, sample 1 and sample 2, why, because sample 2 has 2 or 3 sentences similar to sample 1, so once I translate sample 1, and open sample 2 will be automatically filled you will see that okay so two files are added go to next okay so now if you don't have a tm you create it remember i already created a tm so let me use my tm okay so i have added my tm okay I know initially it will be like watching uh, Exorcist movie, but remember it will be scary. But once you use it for 5 to 10 projects, you will feel like uh, uh, traveling in a bench car. Okay. And for example, I have an Excel glossary. Let me show you uh, that also. I have created a glossary. For your information, I have. French to English glossary amounting to 5 lakh or 7 lakh terms. Everything I took from internet only. I download glossary, convert to Excel, create it as a term base and use it. So make it a hobby. When you don't have work, just uh, keep building your Excel glossary, create term base and use it. Whatever CAD tool, whether you are going to use Omega T or Trados, that is up to you. But use it. It is going to help you like anything it will speed your work a lot okay so now here you can see that i have put the language name and english words in the first column and the french word in the second column you will see how trados is helping with this glossary terms so i'm i have added a small file i have created a tm i'm going to add that excel glossary term accelerator it has header a and b column matters a column is english united kingdom obviously german would come because trados is a german company sdl is a german company uh, french france 
okay so i am adding a glossary that glossary term also will come and it is going to help you sample.xlx okay so i am i have browsed the excel glossary i have submitted okay so i have created now you can see the detail like how many words and how many words are repetition and how many words are no max like that and it differs from your tm to client tm and how many words translated nothing is translated we will see that now let me open the first two file open for translation see the moment i open i am a translator do you see a red color line meaning that this term is present in the glossary that will come here okay so uh, it is uh, loading now it is taking some time okay let me type the translation just please uh -huh. okay see the word translator and its translation traductor so now i type the first letter do you see it is coming like a drop down a z means it is coming from the glossary remember i had a excel glossary so the thing is coming from the excel glossary here you can refer it you can also insert press enter it will be inserted here okay now i have typed the translation let me confirm and move to next segment see here see i translated i am a translator to french just we enter dictator okay next i go see automatically it has inserted just we i translated how did the word france come see from the glossary french the word english french means the uh, french word is france so english is called angrezi right in hindi right like that french france see it has automatically substituted okay so see the now can you see it is 71% this is fuzzy match 70 to 99% is a fuzzy match okay so now i hope you are able to see the advantages uh, now itself so now there is a tag so let me insert the tag okay i have inserted okay see again it is bringing uh, see i am a german translator can you see i never translated the word german but it is bringing from the glossary okay actually okay so it is bringing from glossary so i am inserting because this formatting tags are important if you are working on html and frame maker file type and all if you don't maintain the formatting it is going to mess up so only if you maintain the tags your final layout will be perfect otherwise you are going to create a mess remember that see now you saw that glossary term is coming translation memory is coming and bringing the total match and fuzzy match okay and if you want to search a particular word in your glossary you go here for example let's say french it will show for example city it will show you can search in the glossary also see it has automatically brought uh, the translator word with a green color font and everything and i have to insert only the spanish part okay okay 
so now next we are going see now this entire sentence is not there in our translation memory but only a portion is already there in uh, our tm so even that is also coming see here the result is coming from the first tab translation result now the result is coming from second tab fragment matches that is this is a segment or sentence but a portion of that sentence only is there in the tm so it is coming from the second tab now again i am going to type the first letter see it is coming like if you remember i showed the same words in the screenshot in the theory part i showed the same words in the screenshot okay forget about the french just to see how it is helping okay next comes the most interesting part i have put the repetitive text just to see how tradof helps that is repetition i have translated the moment i confirm see it gets automatically filled and see for simplicity i have put the successively if you are working on a 20 page file 100 page file the repetitive sentences may be across n number of pages for simplicity and demo i have put it like this okay so you have to think in the actual scenario you make any change anywhere and confirm it will auto propagate to remaining occurrences now it did not auto propagate because uh, i did not switch on you can switch on and uh, okay now i press confirm see it has propagated now i change it see it has propagated okay so and uh, you, you can run spell check and uh, qa check and all okay so this is it now save it and let me create a target file now let me save it French. and let me save it outside see sample one the docket is the source file i am saving with sample one hyphen friends save okay let me minimize see now we used a word file created a project added a glossary and worked on it now let's see here see sample one the source file see it is in english i did not want to replace it so I saved with sample one hyphen print. See, ninth and nineteen fifty. Okay, just now I saved. See, see the formatting exact and same formatting. Exactly whatever the source, the target will be a mirror image provided that if you use the proper tags and uh, everything present in the source should be copied to the target otherwise this will not help okay and not only that uh, for example as a, uh, we can use empty also now okay uh, leave that empty part next so this file is done now next file i'm opening the next file see there it was i am a french translator so that one is coming but here i have put i work as a french translator so i have to change like this okay now let me show the empty part for example uh, if we want to use open a see there is open a provider but remember you can't use a free chat gpt account but only if you have a paid subscription, you can add the API key and do the prompting, uh, asking terminology query or whatever. I do not know how many people are using chat GPT for terminology work or machine translation or whatever. So uh, that you can use. And I don't have a paid uh, chat GPT account. So for example, let me use the RWS empty. 
remember if you are using MT you have to check with your client otherwise you can't use MT for confidential document it's a breach of non-disclosure agreement okay so now I have added machine translation as a TM okay now let me save it and let me run the pre-translate now this is a small file even if you have a one lakh bird file you'll be able to handle it like anything see this done and you can move the uh, any window anywhere okay not only that while working itself you can click the preview and say click to generate preview so while working it will show the model of a target file also live preview of the file for selected file type html preview will come inside let me say microsoft word and click to generate so while working itself we will see the target file here see now if i go to let me go to the first segment see it will show here and see nmt the entire translation is done see nmt okay so this is a quick uh, glance of trados okay